This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Ray Collins has the morning off today. Let's check in with meteorologist John Scalzi. And John, the rain held off for us on Friday Fest. Not so much the story for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, the rain was definitely around uh, over the weekend, no doubt about it, and came down fairly heavy. If you notice, it was mostly during the first half of the day, though. Second right. half of the days generally tend to clear out a little bit. When you have this kind of southwesterly wind flow that we have again today, we are stuck with this kind of pattern, this sort of reverse summertime pattern that we uh, that we have had, gee, oh, over a week now. And uh, that's not changing today. The, what will change is that we have a little bit of drier air that has worked its way in, and that will limit the number of storms that we get and probably also limit the strength of the storms that we get. Some scattered showers out in Gulf waters continue to advance in our direction, bringing us about a 40% chance of showers for the first half of the day. Cloud cover will be thicker during the first half of the day as well, and temperatures warm and humid already in the mid to upper 70s in some places. We'll top it out today with a little bit of sunshine warmer than we have over the last day or two. That'll bring us up to temperatures that'll be in the upper 80s today. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in just a few. Back to you, Jacqueline. All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look at traffic, if you're heading into Manatee County from uh, Palmetto in that area, you're going to see some congestion on downtown Bradenton, also State Road 70 heading towards 301, and 301 also heading south, bouncing an increase in traffic. As we head into Sarasota County, looks like there is some slowdowns on 41, B Ridge, Clark Road, and Fruitville also seeing a few slowdowns as you head throughout the area. And in in South County, just your normal slowdowns at 602 on your Monday morning. Topping our news this half hour, it's a big week in Washington as the Russia investigation continues and the president planning to make a statement on health care today as Senate Republicans make their final push to repeal Obamacare. All this as Democrats prepare to unveil a new economic agenda. ABC's Emily Rao has the latest from Washington. President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, heads to Capitol Hill today for a closed-door interview with the Senate Intelligence Committee investigating Russian meddling. I'm confident that uh, tomorrow when Jared Kushner speaks, uh, and I'll keep my fingers crossed in saying this to you, it'll probably be the last time that he has to talk about Russia. Over the weekend, Kushner revised his financial disclosures again after he inadvertently omitted 77 assets. Team Trump also trying to steer the conversation away from talk of presidential pardons. The issue of pardons is not on the table. There's nothing to pardon from. This after the president tweeted over the weekend, all agree the U.S. president has the complete power to pardon. But by Sunday night, his tweets turned to health care, with a Senate vote slated for Tuesday, a warning. If Republicans don't repeal and replace the disastrous Obamacare, the repercussions will be far greater than any of them understand. And meanwhile, Democrats preparing for a big reveal of their new economic agenda today. It does not address health care, but instead promises a three-pronged economic booster for working families. A better deal for working families, higher wages, less costs, tools for the 21st yeah, century. The Democrats are looking ahead to the 2018 midterm elections, trying to present a united front and appeal to working class voters who supported President Trump in November. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. Developing overnight, at least 24 people are dead after a car bomb attack in Kabul early this morning. According to an Afghan Interior Ministry spokesman, at least 42 others were injured in that blast. The Taliban claiming responsibility for the attack and a statement to local journalists. The group was targeting a bus carrying Afghan intelligence staff. Now it's not clear if the targeted in individuals were the victims of the attack. We'll have more on this story as it develops throughout the day right here on ABC7. Doctors in London are receiving death threats over an infant suffering from a rare genetic disorder. Charlie Gard is being treated at Great Ormond Street Hospital where workers are getting threats both online and in the streets. An EU court has allowed the hospital to discontinue Charlie's life support. However, his parents want to bring him to the U.S. for experimental therapy. The doctors in London say all medical options have already been exhausted and the therapy is not in the baby's best interest. A trial involving Charlie's case is set to get underway tomorrow. An update now on an immigrant smuggling effort gone terribly wrong, killing at least nine people. The suspects that 
set to make a, his first court appearance today. 17 survivors who were crammed into a sweltering tractor trailer found at a San Antonio Walmart are now being treated for life-threatening injuries. As for who's responsible, federal authorities say charges will be filed against a Florida man, James Matthew Bradley Jr. of Clearwater, in connection with those deaths. Firefighters found that each one of them had heart rates over about 130 uh, beats per minute, which uh, again, they were very hot to the touch. So these people were in that trailer without any signs of any type of water. So you're looking at a lot of a heat stroke, a lot of dehydration. Authorities are now trying to determine where the people crossed the border into the United States before meeting up with Bradley Jr. New developments in the outrage over a deadly police shooting in Minneapolis. Reaction continuing to come in after the chief of police resigned over the weekend. Bride to be Justine Damon was shot by an officer after she called 911 to report a possible sexual assault behind her home. Mohammed Noors, the officer accused of killing the woman's partner, says the two were startled by a loud noise just moments before Damon appeared next to their patrol car in a dark alley. Authorities say Noor fired at Damon from the passenger seat through the open driver's side window. Minneapolis residents say the chief's resignation is a start, but it's a long way from making things right. A recall alert this morning as Bush Brothers and Company is announcing a voluntary recall of certain cans of Bush's Brown Sugar Hickory Baked Beans, their country-style baked beans, and their original baked beans due to potentially defective side seams on the cans. Bushes said the problem has since been corrected and no illnesses have been reported. All of the recalled cans have a best buy date of June 2019. 90 people, including several minors, were hospitalized during a rap concert in Connecticut over the weekend. Authorities say many were admitted for excessive drinking at the Hot 93.7 Hot Jam concert. Hartford police say tailgating and alcohol consumption was extremely prevalent at the show featuring artist Chance the Rapper. 50 underage drinking referrals were made, and one 19-year-old was also put in intensive care with a blood alcohol content nearly eight times the legal limit. Here in the Sunshine State, the tech just is not matching up to expectation at Universal Orlando's new Volcano Bay Water Park. Many visitors are unhappy with the virtual technology nearly two months after the park's opening. Several park visitors say they're frustrated with the bracelets that stand in line for them virtually because then they can only tap into one ride at a time and waits can be as long as three hours. Well, some good news this morning for Florida job seekers. Unemployment rates have dropped in June to the lowest rate since that of 2007. June's jobless rate dipping down to just 4.1 percent, which is more than 19,000 jobs that have been added to the state over the past month. Florida is among the national leaders in overall job growth, just following behind Nevada and Utah. A large contributing factor to the increase in jobs, Allegiant Airlines choosing Orlando as its new East Coast training center. Federal wildlife officials are reviewing the endangered status of the Florida panther, and they may possibly move it now to the threatened list. The official review is part of a routine classification check conducted every five years. Right now, Florida's panther population is estimated around 200. Bill Samuels heads the Florida Panther Project, which is an organization specializing in panther education, and he says a delisting would be disastrous for the panthers due to the record number of deaths within the past year. He also says the government wants to hear from Florida residents. This is the chance for people to speak up. This is their chance to say why they believe or don't believe that the panther should be delisted. The comment period on the endangered species status on the Florida Panther ends on August 29th, so you can send your comments still to the email on your uh, TV, David Schindel at FWS.gov. Dozens of beachgoers looking to enjoy their summer on Daytona Beach are recovering this morning after jellyfish stung 60 people. Volusia County Beach Safety Officers had to treat those stung with a vinegar mixture after currents likely caused by storms moved a large group of jellyfish into the area. 27 people had to be rescued out of the water by the end of the day on Sunday. And take a look at this. It may look like just another video of an alligator swimming along in Florida, but imagine the surprise for those who saw it off of a Miami beach on Sunday. This video taken from a pier above water near the beach. 
Florida Fish and Wildlife crews captured the reptile on the rocks near the jetty only two hours later, luckily before any swimmers had a run in with the lost critter. And after days of celebrations, the winner of Key West's Ernest Hemingway Lookalike competition has been declared. Complete with the white beard and all, 71-year-old Richard Philippe of Texas took home the crown. So what really put him over the top this year was he piloted a replica of Hemingway's fishing boat all the way from Miami to Key West. Judged by former winners, the contest has attracted over 150 participants. Looks like that was quite an interesting contest, <laughs> John. I think next year you need to go cover that. Me? I, yes. Well, I think you should enter next year. There we go. <laughs> we'll do both. How about that? I'm gay. <laughs> that looks like fun. Uh, we have some changing weather coming up for us over the next several days. Hemingway would have loved it. We'll talk about it in just a few. All right. Thank you so much, John. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, we're seeing homes and condos pop up all across the Sun Coast, but we'll tell you how local real estate experts say this could end up bringing down the rent of other nearby homes. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month, or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning. And services is qualified. And service calls are free. And services.com. A-N-D services.com. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. 
I know coming into work today, we really didn't have any rainfall when I was on my way in, but the humidity was so thick that the you know condensation on the windshield required windshield wipers to be on intermittent. I think you might find the same sort of thing as you head out the door this morning. Certainly, the uh, the temperature and dew point are pretty close together, and when they're within a couple of degrees, you get very high relative humidities. And right now we're at 94 percent, so it feels pretty thick, pretty humid outside right now. Got some cloud cover as well. Some of the clouds producing a little bit of light drizzle in places. It's not real heavy. And really, we've got some drier air that's kind of filtered in. That is going to be a factor in what will end up being a southwest flow. But right now, it's pretty light out of the southeast at coming in at about 7. 75 degrees in Parish, or oh, Mayaca City, rather, coming in at 75. Uh, looking at 75 in Arcadia and in Wachula. Bradenton comes in at 76. So does Lakewood Ranch. Northport at 77. And along the coastline, it is a little bit warmer with 79s in Venice and Inglewood and 81 degrees out at Longboat Key. So across the region this morning, the evidence of a flow off the surface just aloft out of the southwest is certainly apparent through much of the west coast of the state of Florida. A lot more rain shower activity in the northern part of the state than we have here locally because a little bit of drier air is snuck up and across the west coast of the Florida Peninsula kind of has stopped just about over us actually from about Tampa Bay southward is where the really little bit drier air is located and that has limited the showers just a little bit. Now we will see a few of these work their way on shore and our rain chance is not completely gone, but it is down from where we were 24 hours ago, certainly down from where we were on Saturday. Our rain chance today probably at about 40 percent and that'll be mostly during the first half of the day. 10, 11, 12 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock we'll still have a chance of seeing some showers around and then our rain chances in the afternoon will go down pretty quickly. High pressure, the dominant weather feature for us again developing that westerly flow in the afternoon. A few scattered showers from Gulf waters will be pushed toward the other coast and that'll be the case for the next several days. A few less storms, a bit more sun, and consequently higher afternoon temperatures coming in in the upper 80s today. Watch right here, you see a little tan color. That little tan color right there is our drier air. It's filtered in, it's reduced our rain chances. The RPM computer model shows few scattered showers, not too many, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, maybe. And then those showers move over to the other coast. And I think tomorrow we'll see even less coverage around. That'll probably be true into Wednesday as well. Certainly along the coastline, inland you may get a shower or two. Forecast calls for less than average rain chances for the first half of the week and increasing rain chances for the second half of the week. Back to you. John, let's take a look at traffic if you're heading out the door this morning. Looks like downtown Bra Bradenton seeing some more cars on the roadway. Also, State Road 70 heading east and westbound as you head towards 301, seeing some congestion throughout that area. In Sarasota County, looks like Clark Road heading towards the interstate, seeing some slowdowns as well as where that split is around 41 and 301 over by the Bayfront and heading up towards 301, seeing some congestion. In South County, though, it's pretty quiet at 618 on your Monday morning. Homes and condos continue to pop up all around the Sun Coast, and some are even priced in the millions. But a local real estate expert says those new properties could be bringing down the cost of homes for rent. Our Erica Jackson has more. It's too much, and it doesn't seem as though the price is based off of an average family. Desmond Peterson and his wife want to raise their son in a single family home on the Sun Coast, but can't afford the high monthly payments for a rental. That's why they settled for this Bradenton apartment. He believes increased development is adding to the high prices for rental homes. And then building up, but it doesn't really, I mean, you're building up, but I don't see anything worth skyrocketing the price. Home rental expert John Michalidis says all of that residential construction is actually helping bring down the prices of local rental homes. That's increased supply, and you've got that combined with the ever-increasing rates, and there's a little bit of leveling out of prices because people have a lot of choices. Real Property Management's quarterly report for Sarasota Manatee found rental rates in 2017 are going down for the first time in five years. The average monthly rental for a single family home in the Sarasota Bradenton metropolitan area is $1,700 a month, 
a 2.9% year-over-year decrease. Rates have been on the rise for so long, it's just natural that it has to ease at some point. The rental rate is increasing nationally, and Michaelita says the local price drop will bring our rent prices closer to the national average. What we're getting is a more normalized rental market as compared to an, an accelerated hot market that we were in for years. But even with an increase of vacant rental homes locally, Peterson doesn't think families are getting their money's worth. The rent in Bradenton is somewhere between 16 and 17, and the houses aren't even up to date. Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, we'll have the latest on a vacation nightmare in Mexico and a growing list of people claiming the liquor being served there isn't what it claims. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. As a singer-songwriter, it's all about creating high-performance art that moves people. Same is true in making gorgeous cars. Fiat designs it. You're the artist. Choose your palette just about any color combo inside out. No small wonder, state-of-the-art style Fiat. Now this moves me. Oh, they're playing my song. Let the art of Fiat move you at Fiat of Sarasota. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Welcome back. Beautiful shot there sent to us from one of our viewers. Thank you to Norm Schimmel for this look at the view from St. Armand's Key here in Sarasota. What a great view that is. And just a reminder, if you have any pictures or video that you'd like to see on the show, feel free to send it to us at ABC7 on our Facebook page. Also, you can reach Ray Collins, me, and John Scalzi at our per personal Facebook page. Uh, pages as well. Also, we met so many people out at Friday Fest over the weekend with uh, the band Kettle of Fish. There's me, Ray, and Linda Carson as well. That was great to see her out there. We also had a little fan. His name is Anthony Brinker. I promised I would give him a shout out this morning. He says he watches every single morning because he wants to know what he needs to wear to school or what he needs to wear for the for the day ahead. And he wants to know what is going on around the world. So 
big congratulations for him for coming out there to Friday Fest and getting so involved in local news. Welcome back. It is 624 this morning. Amidst the unexplained death of an American college student at a resort in Mexico, a growing number of people are claiming they became blackout drunk after drinking very little alcohol. ABC's Diane Macedo has the latest. In this morning's GMA first look, after just two hours in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, 20-year-old Abby Connor ended up unconscious in the resort pool and died just days later. Her family questions whether tainted alcohol at the resort contributed to the tragedy. Now other American families are coming forward. I thought I was dying. Jamie and Rick Valerie stayed at another resort in 2015. They tell the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel they both blacked out after just a few drinks. Maureen Webster created the website Mexico Vacation Awareness. On it, she highlights potential risks at these resorts after her 22-year-old son was found unconscious in a resort pool and later died. Webster claims the resort medical staff wouldn't help her son, saying he was just drunk, something Webster denies. Coming up at 7.30 a.m., the families are searching for answers so this doesn't happen again. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. At Panera, a salad is so much more than one thing. More than one flavor or texture or color. A good, clean salad is so much more than green. And with Panera Catering, more for your event. Panera, food as it should be. How did we test our improved Dixie Ultra plates? With two pounds of steak in each hand. Dixie Ultra. Stress tested so you can stress less at dinner. I tried hard to quit smoking. But when we brought our daughter home, <laughs> that was it. Now I have Nicoderm CQ. The Nicoderm CQ patch with unique extended release technology helps prevent your urge to smoke all day. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Every great why needs a great how. You thought about it, dreamt about it. Maybe you should just go ahead and do it. We're legal soon, and we've helped over a million people just like you start their own businesses. Legal soon. Legal help is here. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. Since 2014, Addiction Hope and Helpline has answered calls for recovery and treatment 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're depressed, drinking, using drugs, or taking pills, call now and talk to someone who cares. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Most insurance covers substance abuse. You can get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call 800-622-1941. 800-622-1941. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. 
The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-620-2254. That's 1-800-620-2254. The official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, a tragic death for one of the Suncoast's most beloved mascots. What officials believe may have happened to Snooty the Manatee and the life he leaves behind. Plus, intense weather over the weekend causes a house fire on Casey Key. We'll take a look at the damage. And local law enforcement gathering to support their brother in blue. How dozens of sheriff's deputies in Manatee County raised money for a fellow officer's medical expenses. Your Suncoast News starts right now. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back. Beautiful shot from our tower cam this morning over the horizon in downtown Sarasota. You can see a few clouds out there this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. 631 on your Monday morning. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Ray Collins has the morning off today. Let's check in with meteorologist John Scalzi. He says there's a little bit of hope for some sunshine today. I'm sure lots of people looking forward to that, John. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit more sunshine today. We'll also have to beat back those clouds and there will be a chance at a sprinkle or two. But the good news is that unlike over the weekend, I think we'll have a lot more sunshine. Eh, you know, it's a double edged sword. Sunshine means warmer temperatures and we'll certainly see temperatures in the upper 80s today. Looking at the uh, satellite view and there's, you know, not too much in the way of large cloud masses over us. The further north you go, the more thick the cloud becomes. That's because the uh, the moisture across our region is somewhat limited by drier air temperatures generally in the mid 70s inland upper 70s near the coast we will probably get into the upper 80s today unlike yesterday when the temperatures were held down by the cloud cover won't have that luxury as much as we start off this new work week we'll talk about the forecast in a minute all right, thank you, John. As we're heading out the door this morning, let's take a look at traffic 301 heading north and southbound, seeing an increase in congestion. Also, State Road 70 heading east and westbound as you get past 301, seeing some more slowdowns. Looks like 41 as you get around the split between 41 and 301, seeing some more cars on the roadway, as well as 41 passing the Stickney Point Bridge, seeing some extra cars. Uh, looks like South County pretty quiet, though, if you're heading out throughout that area at 632 on your Monday morning. Topping our news this half hour, the South Florida Museum is closed as usual today, but it's unclear when the aquarium will reopen after their main attraction tragically dies just a day after his 69th birthday. Our Erica Jackson shares how Snooty's record-breaking life impacted the Sun Coast. Snooty's fans are honoring the manatee even as the aquarium remains closed on Sunday and Monday. He was an icon of the county. The county was always manatee county. Some called him a tourist attraction in the 1940s. When we first moved here, that's one of the first things we wanted to do. Now he's considered a legend in the appropriately named Manatee County. He was the brand recognition of Manatee County. Snooty the Manatee was born in July 1948 in Miami, the first recorded birth in human care. A year later, came to Bradenton under the permanent care of the South Florida Museum. Something that you follow and you know it's his birthday right. every year. and. Bradenton. The 1300 pound mammal became Manatee County's official mascot in 1979. His slow paced swim and lovable personality in the water brought in more than 1 million visitors to the South Florida Museum. We were reading about him yesterday and we heard about that it was his birthday and that he's the he was the oldest living uh, manatee in the world. Snooty helped scientists better understand manatees through different research programs then baffled researchers by breaking records as the longest living manatee in captivity and in history. Snooty was really helping us to understand how long manatees possibly could live. Manatees in the wild are lucky to make it into their teen years. We certainly have information that they can have lifespans into their 40s um, and maybe even a little beyond that. Because of uh, Snooty, we have some of the protective uh, things that we have uh, in the rivers and the lakes and in the power plants. A gracious host, Snooty shared his 60,000 gallon exhibit with 33 rehabilitating manatees since 1998, three of which were in the tank at the time of Snooty's death. But we know he had a great life here. 69 years is a long time. 
Snooty's veterinarian of more than 20 years will perform a necropsy at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Mammal Path Biology Lab in St. Petersburg to find out the official cause of Snooty's death. Reporting in Bradenton, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Well, many more people are reacting to the news of Snooty's death through our Facebook page at ABC 7. Lori writes, saw him yesterday for his birthday, taking my youngest granddaughter for the first time. So sad for Snooty and all of us who loved him. Denise says, I would stay there for hours watching Snooty swim around and eat from the caretaker's hands. What a gentle giant. I will miss our times together, Snooty. And Peggy commenting, like leaving a door open and a child drowning, someone must be feeling very badly for their oversight. It's a sad loss. Now, if you'd like to leave us your own comment, any memories you have with Snooty, or any photos you may have, we welcome you to share them through our ABC7 Facebook page. You can also head over to my Facebook page at ABC7 at Jacqueline Matter and share those pictures as well. Switching gears now, Sarasota County firefighters spent Sunday afternoon responding to a fire at a duplex on Marbeth Street. When firefighters arrived at the scene, the front and back units of the duplex were burning. Crews quickly put out the flames with the back unit of the duplex not suffering any damage. However, the front unit was not so lucky. And we were able to quickly knock down the fire. Uh, we had no injuries to residents or the firefighters, uh, but we did have uh, the resident's dog did, uh, was deceased in the, in, during the incident. The cause of that fire is still unknown this morning. However, a state fire marshal has been called in to investigate. A new face will be joining the Manatee County School Board. Governor Rick Scott has appointed a Bradenton health care executive and former teacher Scott Hopes to fill a vacant spot on the board. The position was left by Karen Carpenter, who resigned in June to live with her family in Massachusetts. Hopes says his goals are to boost student success rates and make the district as a whole more financially efficient. Whether it's a, a private company or a public company or a public agency, uh, we operate on annual budgets and, and it should be a standard exercise every year at looking at how we deploy financial resources in order to achieve the, the, the goals and objectives of the organization. Hope's seat will be up for re-election in 2018. Construction is now happening today. Rather, the city of Bradenton will begin maintenance on Wares Creek between the 12th and 14th Avenue bridges. The city is removing the sand and silt from the bottom of the creek to improve stormwater flow and navigation. The material will be temporarily stored, dried, then removed for disposal. Now, that project is expected to be finished in September as part of the ongoing maintenance to Wares Creek. The city does not expect the work being done to interrupt traffic or cause any major delays in the coming months. Residents are shaken up this morning after a lightning strike sparks a fire on Casey Key. Nearly a third of a $2 million home was destroyed in that fire, and one neighbor was there to see it all unfold. Our Jess Dowdrick has that story. Nobody was home at the time of this fire as the home is up for sale. It was neighbors who saw the flames and immediately called 911. The, we heard a loud, loud bang. It was a, there was a, some rain, lightning, and, and thunder in the area. Keith Lewis is staying next door to this home on Casey Key Drive. I could hear arcing, and I looked over in this fence area over here, and there was a, a line down bouncing all over the ground, throwing flames into these trees. So it actually electrified the grass a little bit. It was a little shocking at first, but we got past that. He immediately called 911. Meanwhile, on the back side of the home, along the beach, Gail Pomerantz and Adam Snitzer were taking a morning walk. We saw some smoke. And then a woman was walking opposite us, and she said, did you see what happened? And at first, we saw one of the transformers on the pole smoking. That's what we saw, and that's what I thought, you know, I thought the smoke was all coming from the transformer. But then within... She said, that house is on fire. Right. The couple also called 911, and minutes later, Nokomis Fire Department was on the scene. They arrived on scene. Uh, they found some grass burning in the corner of the property. And then behind me, uh, the house was on fire as well. Two separate fires, which, according to a state fire marshal investigation, were both caused by lightning. Well, it, hit a, it hit a pole and it hit a, the power line, which sent a surge into the house. It took crews nearly 10 hours to clear the area. But during the structure fire, we found the propane tank was leaking. 
During the storm season, fire crews say lightning will frequently spark fires in the brush or on a palm tree, but nothing like this. There's really no way to prevent it, although I will say that it is rare. While Casey Key Drive is reopened to traffic, the home here remains boarded up. I'm told that the homeowner does not live here locally and that she's just trying to figure out what to do next. Reporting on Casey Key, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Law enforcement officers with the Manatee County Sheriff's Office have shaved their heads to support their brother in blue who is battling cancer. Detective Nate Boggs never had any kind of serious health problems until April when he was playing basketball and thought he threw out his back. Doctors later found a tumor on his spine and Boggs was diagnosed with cancer. Three months later, he's now undergoing chemotherapy and has lost all of his hair. The police community came together this weekend to shave a cop's head. It's, it's really hard sometimes to take a hand out as a law enforcement officer. We, we bend over backwards to help other people out. And you get so used to helping other people out. So when you have a chance to be in my particular position when people are putting their lives aside to help you out, I mean, it, it really, really hits you right in the heart. It, it means a lot. From the get-go, he has had a positive attitude, which I think is another factor in why he's doing so well with this. He has refused to let go. He's refused to not fight. He will not do that, especially for his family. Now, organizers say the event raised thousands of dollars for Boggs and his family to help cover his medical expenses. And, John, I was speaking, actually, with the spokesperson for uh, Manatee County Sheriff's Office, and he was telling me they were simply just playing a game of basketball. And Detective Boggs, Deputy Boggs, rather, threw out his back, and they thought something, you know, was just another back injury or something like that. And, of course, much different outcome than it really was. Wow. Yeah. Life is fragile. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, a that's great a effort. That's a wonderful thing. Yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely awesome. Um, got a viewer email oh. from Inglewood <laughs> over the weekend. Five plus inches of rainfall oh there. Wow. Yeah, it came down. Less rainfall this week, though. We'll talk about that in a second. All right. Thanks, John. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, Justin Bieber is the latest artist to be banned overseas. We'll tell you what country is making sure the singer does not perform there anytime soon. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812.
I'm Alan Cohn. A call to actual arms, a new ad by the National Rifle Association talks about us versus them, but could it incite violence? We'll debate. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, we've got some pretty impressive rainfall totals over the last couple of days. From Doppler radar estimates, it looks like we've had some perhaps in excess of four inch rainfalls in areas of Anna Maria Island. And we have some viewers that have written in to me at our, at, uh, on our email and have uh, actual instruments that have measured the rainfall and have come up with over five inches of rain in Inglewood. We appreciate all of those uh, reports that are sent in to me. They really do help get uh, accurate rainfall totals across the region. Sometimes Doppler estimates can be off a little bit, but if you have a, a gauge, Really appreciate uh, sending in that information. You can also post it if you'd like on uh, uh, on my Facebook page, John Scalzi, ABC7. Appreciate that. Uh, 76 degrees, the air temperature, dew point coming in at 74. Southeast wind light now at about uh, 7 miles per hour. That'll be switching to the southwest with time as we head into the afternoon. Humidity high because the temperature and dew point are pretty close to each other. So consequently, <laughs> Get that really kind of sticky, thick feel to the air out there. And as you're driving along, you'll probably see condensation on your windshield as well, especially if you're running the AC to get rid of some of that humidity. 75 degrees in Parrish and Bradenton, 76. Lakewood Ranch, Wachula at 74, Arcadia at 75, 76 in North Fort, warmer along the coast. Showers already starting out in Gulf waters, pushed in this direction by a flow aloft that is generally out of the southwest. We've had a few showers that try to make it onshore, but generally you'll notice less than we have had over the weekend when we've had large clusters of big thunderstorms at this hour out in Gulf waters gradually approaching the shore. This means that we'll have less showers around today because of some drier air that's worked its way north. Still have that high pressure ridge sitting out in the uh, Gulf though and that still promotes a general east westerly flow of air pushing our storms to the east again today. But because of the drier air aloft, we can limit the number of storms that we see. So we'll have a few less around today, consequently a little bit lower rain chances, a bit more sunshine, and higher afternoon temperatures because of the bit more sunshine that we're going to get for the next several days. Rain chances actually go all the way down to about 20% by Wednesday. And as we head into the weekend, the rain chances go back up. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, John. If you're heading throughout Manatee County this morning on your morning commute, you're going to see a little slowdown as you head on 301 heading southbound. Also, State Road 70 heading towards 301. A little bit more congestion as you're heading in from Palmetto into downtown Bradenton. I-75 looking good, though, as we head into Sarasota County. Some slowdowns really mostly on 41 heading north and southbound, as well as Fruitville Road seeing some slowdowns as you head towards the interstate. Some more congestion on Business 41 down throughout South Venice as you're heading north. Other than that, no accidents at 648 on your Monday morning. In this hour's Health Smart, there's a new health issue linked to heart attacks and strokes that you may not have thought of. The American Heart Association says one in five people hospitalized for heart attack or chest pain develop major depression. That's about four times the rate of the general population. One in three stroke survivors also become depressed, along with up to half of those who undergo heart bypass surgery. Heart disease patients who become depressed are twice as likely to die within the following decade as other patients. Now, cardiologists are encouraged to screen for depression and help patients implement lifestyle changes that may improve their mental health. In entertainment news this morning, officials in China have banned Justin Bieber from performing in Beijing this fall, citing his bad behavior. Officials have not said what specific incident caused the pop star to be banned in the first place, but Bieber may have offended some with his poor behavior on the Great Wall back in 2013 or for posing at a shrine honoring Imperial Japanese war criminals. Bieber begins his purpose tour in Asia this September where he will perform in Tokyo, Hong Kong and Singapore.
And the superhero film Wonder Woman is now the highest grossing movie of the summer with $398 million made just from North American theaters. But that's not the only reason filmmakers are celebrating. Wonder Woman's sequel has now been confirmed. Right now there's no word on whether the director of the move, first movie, Patty Jenkins, will return for the sequel. However, Warner Brothers Studios does say she is starting to write it. And in your weekend box office, the Warner Brothers film Dunkirk taking the number one spot with an unexpected $50.5 million, followed by Universal's Girls Trip coming in ahead of the expectations for an R-rated comedy with over $30 million, Spider-Man Homecoming sliding into third place with $22 million. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, a golden retriever gives birth to a new litter of puppies, but one of the pups isn't so golden. We'll tell you why the newborn is turning heads online when we come back. The Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio charmed us all and crippled the competition. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz, which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. In the park on a bench, on the beach on a towel, or on your couch with your kid, your campus is wherever you want it to be. You don't go to college, college goes to you. That's Independence, that's Independence University. You schedule classes around your schedule and all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet are included with tuition. At Independence U, you'll learn from professional instructors with real work experience. You'll get personal support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree, but keep your life. That's Independence. That's Independence University. So if you're really smart, you'd call now. Call 1-800-319-0237. Independence U. For an independent you. Call 1-800-319-0237. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why you don't like little... my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. The official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. Download yours today. Alfa Romeo got a lot right with the Julia, but the handling alone is sufficient reason to get one. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Welcome back, 6.53 this morning. Beautiful tower cam from our ABC7 tower cam over the horizon in Sarasota this morning. If you're just waking up, beautiful shot there. Welcome back, 6.53. Here are the top stories on the Sun Coast today. Manatee County continues to mourn the loss of a legend this morning. Snooty, the world's oldest manatee, died after what the South Florida Museum is calling a heartbreaking accident yesterday. The aquarium will remain closed as the museum's investigation continues. 
Plus, residents are shaken up after a lightning strike sparks a fire on Casey Key. Nearly a third of a $2 million home was destroyed in that fire. Fortunately, no one was hurt by that strike. And officers with the Manatee County Sheriff's Office have shaved their heads over the weekend to support their brother in blue who is battling cancer. Organizers say the event raised thousands of dollars for Detective Nate Boggs and his family to help cover his medical expenses. Taking a look at traffic this morning, 301 and State Road 70 seeing some more cars on the roadway. If you're heading throughout that area, I-75 looking good as we head into Sarasota County. Looks like some congestion on 41 heading southbound specifically as you pass by the Stickney Point Bridge. Also Clark and B Ridge roads as you head towards the interstate. And in South County, some slowdowns on Business 41 as you're heading northbound throughout Venice. John? Well, Morgan Lee and Bradenton reports in with 76 degrees said she got almost an inch of rainfall over the weekend. Some places saw much more than that. Today, I think our rainfall will be limited by some slightly drier air that's worked its way in. We'll still see showers around, but our rain chance at about 40% today. It goes down further by midweek to about 20% on Wednesday, and then we start to bring it back up. <laughs> and we'll be back to the same old, same old by the time we hit the weekend. All right, keep those umbrellas handy. Finally this morning, a golden retriever in Scotland re recently gave birth to a litter of puppies, but one of the pups isn't even golden at all. Check out the little green fella there named Forrest. If you see him under his mom right there, the rare phenomenon is thought to happen when puppies in the womb come into contact with a green pigment found in stomach bile. But the color usually fades over time, which is already happening to Little Forest. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> it's a green puppy, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> wow, that is kind of interesting. Oh my goodness. Did you know that uh, a litter of dogs can have different fathers? I did know that. I That's did know that. I used wild. to, yeah, I used to breed uh, dogs when I was younger, Alaskan Malamutes. So grew, oh, up, right? grew up doing that and showing them as a younger kid. How about kid, that? So. Cool. Love, I didn't know love that. animals. Yeah. I find out more about you every <laughs> week. There you go. Got some showers in the forecast, but not a lot. A little bit of chance to dry out, but it'll be warmer. All right, good news there. Thanks so much, John. Stick around. Good Morning America is coming up next.